Hey guys, let's talk about the SQ Mini DV camera SD card. I have one here ready to insert into the camera. As you can see, it's a V10 32 gigabyte SD card. And I also have here uh, the instructions about which card that I have to use and an adapter so I can format the card in, in my computer, right? So I got the instruction here for the user manual. There we go. As you can see, I can use a 10 height speed 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes if you have available there, or 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which is not included. So you need to buy yours. I will leave the link here in the description for a card that's similar to this one, right? Then you can use here on your camera. So basically you need to format your card before using, but something important as well. Let me just grab the camera here and show you that when you turn on the camera, you're gonna see the indication that the SD card is not there. Let me just turn on here so you see it. So you just press the button here and turn it on. You see the LED, it's flashing there blue. So it flashed for a while and it goes away. So basically it's indicating here that the flash card is not there, the, the SD card is not there, okay? So I have this slot here that I need to insert the SD card. And when the SD card is there, you're gonna see the LED is gonna change, all right? So let me just grab the SD card here. And I need to insert here into this adapter. There we go. Now I'm gonna insert into my computer. I have a MacBook here. You can use Windows as well, but you need to format the SD card. So basically here, I insert into my computer. And then I'm gonna see here that pops up the card, right? I just wait for a while and it pops up here. So the computer sees the SD card. Then I come here to look for the disk utility. That's the one, you can just type disk and find the disk utility, okay? Just use the search bar here to find yours. And as you can see, I can uh, select the hard drive that I have and this one is the SD card which is no name and has FAT32 as the file format, all right? So here you just need to click erase, give the card a name if you want to. It's not necessary, but if you want to give it a name, it's up to you. And most important here is to select the format. You have X FAT, that's for higher capacity card. In this case, you're gonna use MS-DOS FAT or FAT32, if you're looking in Windows, for example, you see FAT32, that's the one that I'm gonna use it, right? And then you just click here, erase, and you're good to go. I'm not gonna do that because my card has some data already formatted as the card before. And now here, you just need to amount. When I click here, you see that's going to disappear, which means it's free to remove from my computer. There we go. I can just close the disk utility here remove the SD card and I'm good to go. So I come back here to the camera and you see that's the front of the camera and here you see the slot for the SD card. So the way to insert that is like just use the SD card away, then you switch that way, right? There we go. So basically here the front of the camera and you insert that way. Insert here and push it. I can use my finger fingernails. There we go. It's well inserted there. And I'm good to go. Okay. So let me just turn on the camera now. Again, see here that I have the power button. I just press and see the LED here that's blinking. And now it's steady blue, which means it sees the SD card there and I'm good to go. Okay, it's not flashing anymore. So when I press here, it starts recording. When I press once here, it starts recording. So it blinks and goes away because now it's recording. That's the way the camera works. But at first, when you turn it on, you need to see the steady blue LED here, right? So it's recording right now. Then I press again, it stops recording. And you see the steady for a while again. Okay, so it's basically working and later can of course remove and read this into your computer, all right? So there you go guys, that's the way 
you can use the SD card for your SQ Mini DV camera. I hope this helps. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your comments and your thumbs up, and I see you in the next one.